welcome to the next chapter of Time Machine. Now we're going to be setting it up. Now you're going to see it once again on my end, which is probably more confusing than you would ever see, which is not a bad thing, because if we can figure out on this, we can figure it out anywhere. And the reason that mine's so confusing, I actually have another drive already set up for it, so we're going to actually be initiating it with this drive, which is a pretty cool thing to do. So, if you never have used this, and you do hook up an external drive, there's a decent chance that you will be prompted with a message saying, hey, do you want to use this for Time Machine? And then it's as simple as yes or no, or decide later. So, if you have that answer, you've, you can already skip these next couple minutes I'm going to be talking about. But it's also a good idea to know how to do it the long way, in case you've said, you know, decide later, I'm not going to do it, or turn it off, and you're wondering how to turn it back on. This will be a great way to do it. So I have a drive that I'm going to use for it. I'm going to go into my system preferences. This is one way to get there. You could also go up here and go open Time Machine Preferences. But System Preferences. And you have something here called Time Machine. Once again, this is Tem5 on. Tem4 does not have this option. So let's select it. Now when this comes up, we're going to back it up. And right now the Time Machine is off. And this is where the Show Time Machine Status and Menu Bar is is optioned here. So if we uncheck this, it disappears up here. So let's go back and check it so we see it up top, because it is handy to have. Now I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to choose when disk is connected. Now I had a backup to this a while ago, and I called it Backup for something else. Since I'm not using that, I need to change the disk. So I'm going to hit Change Disk. And my new backup is going to be this one here on the desktop. It's called Doctor Who. So I hit it. It's just reading all my drives now, so we have to wait a second or two while it thinks about it. And it will come right up. Knock on wood. I'm honestly not lying to you. Here we go. So I'm going to use this as a backup. So I'll just select it and use for backup. It's going to back up the next time in 116 seconds, so two minutes. Now the way this backs up is it backs up every hour for the last 24 hours, every day for the last month, and weekly until this hard drive is full. So just keep that in mind that this machine will back up all the time as long as the drive is selected. And I'm going to be going over in the next class on how we find our data. And that's where this stuff will make sense to you, probably a little more. So that's all there is to getting it started. And I'm going to be doing a few more options on this stuff on the last chapter, kind of getting into a few more settings. There's not too much more, but I'll be getting into a few more. So thank you very much for watching, setting up Time Machine. Look forward to seeing you at the next class.